the airline of ACC country is proud to bring you another ACC football one for the books. Delta gets you there. The University of Virginia was an obvious underdog when it hosted Clemson in 1980. The Tigers had lost but once that season, but more important, had beaten the Cavaliers all 19 times the teams had met. Still, Virginia led 7-3 in the first quarter when Homer Jordan threw a short sideline pass to Perry Tuttle. One missed tackle and several fancy Dan moves later, Tuttle was on his way to a spectacular 56-yard reception and touchdown, giving Clemson a 10-7 lead. It was one of only two passes Jordan would complete on the day, but they were both big ones. Virginia would not go down easy this day, though. In fact, as the third quarter was winding down, the Cavaliers had scored three touchdowns. This a one-yard sneak by Lindsey Delaney, and Virginia had built a surprising 24-10 lead. But as if Clemson suddenly remembered it never loses to Virginia, the Tigers went to work. Jordan achieved his other completion of the day with a 51-yarder to Jerry Gayard, who parlayed the catch with some fine open field running to set Clemson up in scoring position as the third quarter ended. Then Jordan was to do what he always did best. He ran the option to perfection. His last moment pitch to Brendan Kreit, allowing Kreit to sneak into the end zone and pull Clemson to within a score of the upstart Cavaliers. With 3.05 to play, Clemson made the big play of the game, as Willie Underwood broke through on an all-out rush to block a Virginia punt, allowing Bill Smith to scoop up the prize and tie the score with the extra point added on. The Tigers' special team had made the play Clemson had to have, but with time winding down, the game was even, and Virginia had the ball. Still a few more heroics were needed, and Steve Durham came through with a sack of Virginia quarterback Todd Kirtley on a key third down play. Clemson had the ball back with a chance to keep its perfect record against Virginia alive. The Cavalier defense was tough, but Jordan, a future Canadian Football League player who had 213 yards in total offense on this day, was able to scramble free for nine yards setting up a last-ditch field goal try. With six seconds left to play, the ACC's top field goal kicker, Obid Ariri, hit a 52-yard radar missile, and Clemson had stung Virginia again. The Orange Bowl and national title were still in the future, but Clemson had achieved one of its best fourth-quarter comebacks ever, and another one for the books. This has been another ACC One for the Books, brought to you by Delta. Delta.